Scrabble, the God that loves us, the God that's got us up this morning, the God that's got the strength and the power. If you believe that, can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah. Not in my tradition. I'm not being a betrayer. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an E? Can I get an amen? Amen. My Lord. I welcome everyone here Lord. this morning. Yes, this is a precious morning for me. Of course, I don't know the next time to preach them, but you know, even in this building. Yes. Man, I got it, but I'll be back. <laughs> but I don't know the next time, so this is a precious moment. I got a lot of friends here, man. Yes. I got work colleagues here. Yes. Right? Yes. I got friends from long, long, like this guys that hung up with me like that. <laughs> <laughs> One of my boys. Yeah. That's right. I got my teen boys Bible class here. I got some of the parents here. Yes. I just love all you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank the elders, uh, the leaders of the church for giving this opportunity for giving me a wealth of knowledge over these 15 years. Wow, a wealth of knowledge from the Bible, life skills, work skills, all types of things I have learned from being in this church. So I encourage anyone, yes, well, if you're not, well, be a part of it. Yes, yeah. It's a life changing experience. I have to thank my wife and my family yes. for giving me the time to you know, prepare and just being behind me. Yes, sir. Just being behind me. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Yes, sir. And this morning, I'm here to preach the word. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. In this season, God is God is God is reprove, rebuke, and rebuke, exhort, and exhort, and all manner of long suffering and doctrine. And doctrine. For the time will come. Yes, they will not serve. And do it. Sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Yes. But he put us out, teach us every niche and they should yes. turn away from what? The truth. truth. Unto fables. And turn unto fables. Yeah. But, but, watch thou in all things. Yes. And do us the work of inventors. Yes, sir. And serve the Lord. Amen. 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 So this morning I'm going to preach a lesson that is very, very, very dirty. <coughs> I preached it before. I said, gee, this is a time, a special time, but I thought I'd preach it again. Preach it again, boy. All right. It's been four years since I preached it. Oh, wow. But it seems like just the other day. And it's a lesson that it reflects my work and it reflects my spiritual life. Oh. Anyone who knows what I do? Bubble. Anyone knows where do I work? Don't do I used to. <laughs> I should say, you know, my trade, one of my trades, one of my trades, one of my trades. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint a picture, mm -hmm. and I just want you to follow me very, very carefully. Yes. I'm gonna paint a picture, and I hope you can get a good understanding of the electrical circuit and the spiritual circuit. Okay. I'm gonna parallel the two so you can get an understanding. Some way you can attach like that. this lesson to your life. I like that, Amen. and you can understand. And the title of the message is the live circuit. Yes. The live circuit. Yes, and The first part of it is the I'm gonna deal with the electrical circuit. Then I'm gonna deal with the spiritual circuit, and then the connection. Okay. To bring it all together, the connection. I just need you to follow me. Bear with me as I pour this out to you this morning. Yeah. First of all, in the live circuit, you gotta figure out how you're gonna get, with you like the electrical circuit first, how you're gonna get the electricity to the customer. I also see my family here too. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, my son, my daughter, amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> amen. The electrical circuit. You gotta find a way to get the power to the house or to the customer. You gotta find a way. How are you gonna get it there? First of all, you need a source. Something that generates the power. Okay. Yes. Something that starts it. Yes. Something that like some people use that were solar panels? Yeah. They use the sun. And the panels collect the energy. And in some way it works, it creates electricity. Some people use windmills where they get the wind and try to generate and generate electricity. But at Belco, they use huge generators. The generator's about, it's close to the size of this room, maybe bigger. A generator motor. 
It's a very huge motor. And that's the source. That is the beginning where you get the power. Good. You need to start it from somewhere. That's the beginning. Yeah. Yes. And then once you get that power, what you add to it is something called a transformer. All right. Now remember these words. You've got the power, the source. Then you've got a transformer. Mm -hmm. Now the transformer works like this. You have to get this power from, from the engine from the to the hood. It's got to travel a long distance, so the transformer increases the voltage. Uh -huh. It's a lesson for you today. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The transformer increases the voltage so they can travel long ways. So remember these words, the power, the transformer. Uh -huh. And I've got my phone in my hand, some people saying, like, why, why has it got its phone? I have to declare it that I'm using it as a remote to control the uh, power point. I'm not checking Instagram <laughs> or uh, Snapchat. That's job. <laughs> or I'm not checking Facebook. It's a remote. That's, that's okay? It's okay. All right, All right. All stay right. with me. And now you have something that's called a transmission line. So we've got to find a way that this is to get the power to the customer. So it's got to travel along something. And the transmission lines work like, like, like uh, a water pipeline. Like water traveling through the pipes and it gets to your house, you turn it up when you got some wood, you got a nice shower. Mm. Yeah. Some people say you're fresh. <laughs> Just like electricity needs something to travel along. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get the transmission lines that transports this power, this electricity. Okay. Follow me. Yeah. And also, along with those lines, you have other, it's oh, so much other things a part of this. It's just the basics. <clears throat> you need something that's called a neutral wire. Mm -hmm. Now the neutral wire is the wire that go, has to go back to the source. Ah. It's a circuit with completing. A circuit has to be completed in order for it to work. Mm. The circuit has to be completed in order for it to work. Well, so you have a neutral wire that goes back to the source. Said Always goes back to the source. Has to go back to the source. Mm -hmm. So we've got the power, we've got the transformer, Got the transmission lines, and with those lines is something called a neutral. What else we got here? Then we got the house. We're getting there now. I like it. The power is traveling along at certain speeds, <laughs> at certain frequencies, and it gets to the house. And if the connection is right, the customer that's in the house. I don't know if you see that little guy sitting there. I see him, I see him. If the connection is right, if it's the right connection, you get lights. <laughs> Who likes lights? Uh, yeah. We all like lights. Yeah. What's that feeling when it's a hurricane, and after the hurricane, you ain't got no lights? It is life changing. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, life changing. Because the pump ain't working, so you ain't got no water coming through the pipes. So, once you, you gotta go and dip water. You gotta get a bucket and some rope. Oh, yeah. well, some people's fancy too. They've got generators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generator. Some people, yeah, yeah. yeah if you're in that, in that, at that level. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But if not, they gotta dip water. And what's those little things? You gotta get in a little lighter. You gotta light it. You get some light. A candle. <laughs> but then you get a little fancy. You got all these type of lanterns and LED lights, flashlights and flashing lights. You know, that, that can help you see in the darkness. But with this power, it can take you from darkness to light. Yes. Yeah. Let's see what's happening at top. Uh -huh. <laughs> painting that picture. I see it. Painting, it. painting a picture. That, that power is going to take you from darkness to light. That's right. So we've got what? A generator that generates the power at the beginning. Yes. Then you've got the transformer that transforms the transformer electricity to, to get it to your house. Yes. You've got the transmission lines. And this is electricity. You don't see it. Anybody seen electricity before? No. Like, like seeing it? No. You're seeing the wires, you're seeing the structure, you're seeing the meat at your house. But these wires have got electricity traveling along it. And it is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, it's dangerous. You can't see it. So you've got to be very, very careful and aware of what you're doing when you're dealing with electricity. And this does launch, like I said, you've got that neutral. It's the return source. And then you got the house where it's connected, and then you got the customer that's in the house. Okay. Like I said, it's gotta be all connected correctly for it to work. For, it to work, for you to get lights, because you will still be in darkness. Right now we'll be in darkness. If the connection was not right, we will be in darkness. Bottom line. 
Now, I'm moving on to the spiritual circuit. All right, pop Stop this one. The spiritual circuit. First of all, like I said, in the electrical circuit, you have a source. Yes, sir. The beginning, yeah. the generation that generates the power. Press it up. And it's called a power plant. But in the spiritual sense, what is the beginning? God is the beginning. God is the God. beginning. And with God, he don't need a generator. No. He don't need no solar panels. Yeah. He don't need no windmills. He don't need a generator. God, I'm going to show you how God does it. How he does it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God done it. Yes. This is Genesis 1. This is our text. Genesis 1, 1 to 4. And the earth was without void and what? Darkness was upon the face of the earth. Upon the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Yeah. And what happens? It's darkness. It's water. He says what? Heaven and earth. And God got some wires. <laughs> he got a coil. He no. got a motor. No. And a fan. No. And, he, and, he, and, he, and he crafted this generator. No. You saw that in your body? No. Did you see that? No. What did he do? And God said it. That's it. And he said it. He just said it. <laughs> And what happened when he said it? What did he say? Hey, there will be light. And what happened? There was light. Man, look at that. God spoke it. No generator, no motor, no solar panels, no windmills. He spoke it. No wires. <laughs> no neutral wire. <laughs> no transformer. God said it. And it said there would be light, and what happens? There was light. Wow. Yeah. wow. So his connection had to be correct. <laughs> he said that there would be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was what? Good. good. Isn't this light good? Yes, it is. Isn't air conditioner feel really nice? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and God divided the light from the darkness. <laughs> so that's the power source. The beginning in the spiritual circuit with no generator, no solar panels, no windmills, it's just God speaking it. And there was like, Yes, sir. Amen. What else we got here? Let's talk about God's power. Let's talk about His power. In Jeremiah 32 and 17, Jeremiah 32 and 17, our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth. Yes, it is. By thy great what? Power. Power. And stretch out all, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Nothing. Wow. I just showed you he created the earth, and he spoke the light. Yes. It's nothing too hard. He has the power. And what else about his power? In 2 Samuel 22 and 33, God is my strength and what? Power. Power. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here right now. And you wouldn't be either. That's right. That's right. God is my strength and power, and he makes my way perfect. Mercy. Now, big question. Remember this, that God has a way of getting the power to us. Like I said, in the electrical circuit, the power from the generator gets to the customer. Now, how does God get that power to us? He has it. Yes. He has it, but how does he get it to us? Okay. How does he get that power to us? I'll break it down, brother. How does he get that power to us? Before we even get to the transform, God used his power to get me from darkness to light. Yes. From unkind to kind. Yes. From miserable sometimes to joyous. Yes. <laughs> He got me from the club to the church. Yes. Yeah. His power got me from the DJ booth to this mic right now in the pulpit. Yes. He got me from a single player. Well, what are those words they gonna give their men? <laughs> to a husband married 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. But the question is, how does he get that power to the person? 
How did they get their power to me? That's a good question, Doc. Just like the electrical circuit is ways of doing it, you had to, the electricity you had to transform it to get to the person. Okay. What transforms us to get here? The word of God. If it wasn't for the word of God, I wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't be here today. It wouldn't even be a church. We wouldn't be gathering here right now. The word yeah. transforms oh. lives. Right. Look at that. Look at that. It transforms lives. Yeah, yeah. It transforms lives. Can I say it again? It transforms lives. Yeah, that right. word. That word. That's good. Because me, I wasn't always this way. So? Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even lie. <laughs> I wasn't always this way, but it was until I start reading the word and it started to transform my life. Yeah. I know I've told this story before, but I was out there DJing and one night me and my, my good buddy too. I like the story. <laughs> my good buddy. I used my brother's bike. Not Kareem, my other brother. And the bike, the, the brakes wasn't sharp. And I didn't really know. I'm riding the bike all night. Played, I think we played at a beach. I think it was Chaplin Bay. I think we done a party at a beach. Yeah? Between the brother too. <laughs> Chaplin Bay. So, you know, everything is done. Pack up speakers, there. You gotta go home. And not just him, you know, you got this little mission sorted out. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. This is over 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah, let's, right, let's right. clean that up. <laughs> so it's about 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe 3 34. You got your after hour plans. Yep. So I'm riding on carpet pass. Here. Everybody knows a carpet pass. See it, right? Yeah. And you're turning towards that Jones Village, or you call it yeah. Yeah. Avenue. Yeah. So as I'm turning in there, I've got my mate on the back. I'm pressing the brake. Okay, as I'm coming out here, I'm pressing the brakes. Hey, I'm gonna press this brake down pretty far. It's not slow. No, they're not. I'm a top rider. <laughs> I can navigate it to this corner, so I turn into Jones' village, and as I turn, I'm putting the brake down. So, being that I had to press the brake so hard, the brake would start to sh scrape on, 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 the, on the road. The asphalt. Yeah. And what it done is spun the back of the bike around. So, I'm thinking, I've got this. Put my foot down oh, to get me some balance, oh, but being I was on that angle, what happened? It kicked my knee right, right out. out. It kicked it out. Yeah. I'm laying on the ground. I made it around. What to do? What to do? What to do? Yeah. I was in so much pain. This is kind of graphic, you guys, but my leg, my my how was it? My knee was facing this way, oh. but my foot was facing that. Way. And I was in pain. I'm looking, saying, "Now oh, this don't look right. <laughs> this don't look right. It don't feel right." Uh, real quick, I said, I clicked my leg back in the oh. It's kind of graphic, but I'm just saying what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. But at that moment, I ended up in hospital. I had a cast on my leg for six weeks. And during that time, what do you think happened? It was a Bible, my cousin's Bible, at the foot of my bed. Mm -hmm. Never read a Bible before. I came on Muslim. Yeah. So I never read a Bible. I, 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 I didn't have good things to say about Jesus. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I came a Muslim. That's right. Anybody knows about the Muslim belief? Hey, it ain't about Jesus. Yeah. But the Bible was at the foot of my bed. And some said, look, I'm start reading Matthew. I start reading, I start to learn about Jesus. I start reading that word. And that word started to transform my life. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Transforms lives. Yes, sir. And it brought me here today. Yes. What about that word? In Romans 12 and 2, he puts it like this And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. It's right. By what? The renewing of your mind. How do you renew your mind? Mm. You need information. Yep. Yep. If you've got the same information in your mind, you're going to do the same things. That's right. But not until you get that new information. That it could transform your life. You can renew your mind. Yes. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect, and perfect will of God. Yes. How are you going to learn about the will of God if you don't read this word? Yes. 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 How are you going to be transformed? Yes. You know what else, buddy? Therefore, any man be in Christ, 
He is what? A new, new creature. Transform. The old things are gone. My old self is gone. It's gone. He tries to show his head up sometimes. He tries to he tries to get out of the grave. I buried him a long time in the grave, but he's trying to crack his way out of that grave. But it's the new man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the party lesson. All these become new because of what? The word transforming their life. So this word I'm speaking today, hopefully it transforms somebody's life today. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that mm. it transforms somebody's life today. Yes, sir. Yes. What else about this word? What else about this word? Some people don't even believe in this word. Well, Some say it's a fairy tale. That's what they say. Some say it's just a storybook, a history book. Some say it's just where somebody just made it up. I'm going to get deep on you. Okay. All right. Talk some. You got to use a little slang. Yeah, get deep on you. That's all right? <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Look, this word, okay, proclaimed thousands of years ago that the earth was wrong. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. I read that. Yes, sir. I'm going to say it again. Thousands of years ago. Not in the 1600s, or the 1500s, or the 1700s. Thousands of years ago, this word proclaimed that the earth was wrong. Yep. Some people looking at me kind of funny. That's right. Mm -hmm. They're looking at me kind of funny, saying like, Kevin, what are you talking about? See that word out there? What's the shape of it? It's wrong. It's not flat. Well, It's not square. It's not triangle. It's round. It's round. My brother. Yes. Get for me. Yeah. Isaiah 40 and 22. Yeah. I need to take this down. Because the scientists, really if the scientists would have looked at the word, <laughs> they would have known this. They would have thought that they were going to sail the ship and fall over. <laughs> when, any, any scholars in there? When did, when did they fall out the earth was wrong? What, what year? What's that? Anybody? Uh, 1642. 1642? Yeah. 16, I'm talking. No, no, no. You heard this, the, the text I just asked for? Isaiah. That's in the Old Testament. 12 what? Over 700 BC. Before Christ even traveled the earth. And what does the text say? I'm going to start from 21. It says, Have you not known? Have you not heard? <clears throat> Has it not been told you from the beginning? That's right. Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? Preach it. it is he Preach who it. sits above the circle of the earth. <laughs> Whoa. 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 What did he say? Whoa. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth. <laughs> What's the shape of the earth? What's the Sir, it's not flat, right? No. And do you believe that that was... Before the 1600s? Yeah. Long before. Yeah. 16, that's long before that. Yeah. If only. Okay, look, I'll tell these scientists this. I mean, if you want to, you can. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to think about it. But if only they would have studied the word, they would have been transformed. Yeah. <laughs> they would have been transformed. Yeah. God revealed this to this man long before. Long before. Years and years and years ago. Years ago. And you know what else? Nice. Do you see the earth holding up anything? Yes. Yes. Anything's holding the earth up? Anything hang on? Or hang your, hang your clothes? Or <laughs> trying to scream? <laughs> it's what? Hanging on nothing. Nothing. Hanging on nothing. You have Job 26, 8 and 9? Job 26. 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Job 26, 8 and 9. <clears throat> the Bible says. What does the Bible say? He binds up the water. In his back. thick clouds. Go back. Uh, back to six and seven. Seven. Yeah. 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 He stretches out the north over empty space. Hmm. He hangs the earth on, on nothing. When did they find out about the solar system? Yeah. <laughs> now, Judah is way before Christ was on earth. 
thousands of years ago. He said that he hangs the earth on nothing. Wow. When did they, any, any more scholars know about when they found out about the solar system? No. Oh, Isaac Newton and the law of gravity. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that one was. He hangs the earth on nothing. And what about the rain? And it's gathered in the clouds. When did they find out that? <laughs> when did they find out that? Read on, read on. It says, he binds up the water. He binds up the water. In his thick clouds. In his thick clouds. <laughs> Yet the clouds are not broken. And they don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, I found that out when I was in Whitney. In school, that how the rain, how, how it works, how it works. The rain, the sun, the sun, sun, sun heats up the water, the water, water rises, rise, cools, rise, condenses, rise, cut, okay. falls as rain. I, I want to give you the point. Yeah. But look, be it though. Yes, bro. This was already proclaimed a long time ago. A long time ago. Thousands and thousands of years. And the scientists just finding out this stuff in the 16th century or the 15th century. <laughs> but God had revealed it to him. Word. And you could, you could, if you want to, you could pass one to the scientists. Maybe we'll transform their life. You know? yeah. I got some more for you. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the pass of the sea? And that's in Psalms 8 and 9. Psalms 8, 8 and 9. Have you heard about the water cards? I'm going to move on yeah. this lesson, you guys. I like Clocks that. Too. Psalms 8, 8 and 9. Psalms 8 and 8, 8 and 9. You got pathways in the sea. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The, what's it, the Gulf corns, the Gulf of Mexico corns, you got a Japanese corn, you got a corn in California. The Bible says, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea what they do? that pass through the paths of the seas. Yeah. And what scripture is that? That is Psalm 8, verse number 8. When was Psalm, Psalm is in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. When did they find about the corns and the pathways in the sea? <laughs> If only they would have started God's word. If only they would have started God's word. Yes, sir. They would have, could have been transformed. So first of all, we got the power, the source. And that's God. Yes. Then we have to transform, and that's the word that can transform life. <coughs> what else do we have? We got those transmission lines. Yes, sir. And if something runs across along it, it's called electricity. And I'm going to liken that to the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Yes, because sir. you can see it. Yeah. Do you anyone seen the Holy Spirit before, the Holy Ghost before? Yes, sir. It travels. And God's using these things to get the, His power to us. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. That's what He's doing. Look at that. And in John 14 and 26 says, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, yeah. whom the Father will send in his name and my name, he shall what? Teach, Teach you all things. things and bring all things to your what? Remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Yes. And what else? In John 16 and 13 it says, how did when he, the spirit of truth is come, he yes. will what? Yeah. Guide yeah. you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall, he shall hear, that yes, shall he speak. Yep. And he will show you things to come. Amen. Yes, sir. So God's working his magic yes, sir. to get his power to us. Yes, to transform our life. But he needs the Holy Spirit to do it. I'm going to explain how you get that Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. There's a way it works to complete this spiritual circuit. And what that spirit does, it comforts you, teaches you, gives you remembrance, guides you, and can show you things. Yes, sir. How do you get it? Acts 2 and 38. Yes, sir. How do you get it? Hold up, sir. How do you get that spirit? The Bible says. How do you get it? And Peter said to them. Peter said. Repent. Repent. And let every one of you. Let every one of you. Be baptized. Be what? Baptized. Be what? Baptized. Be baptized. In the name. In the name. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. And what you receive? For the remission of forgiveness of sins. And you shall receive the what? gift of the Holy Ghost. That's how you get it. That's how you get it. That's simple. I just need you to stay with me, but I'm still painting my picture. Painting the picture. What else is a part of this? We've got the neutral. Like I said, what is the neutral? The line that goes back to the source. It's a return source. Yeah. 
That's how you get back to the source, to the power of my God, 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 God with me. <laughs> Gotta get back to the source. And that's through the neutral. And that's in the spiritual sense, I look at it as Jesus gets us back to the source. Yeah. 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 The only way to God is through Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only way. And what it says in John 14 and 6, uh, Jesus said unto him, I am what? I am the way, the, the truth, truth, and the life. No man, or no woman, just in case you didn't got excuse, no. No human come upon to me, but how? By the Father. Through Jesus, but by me. No man comes unto the Father, but by me. Yes. The return source. Look at that. How are you going to get back to the source? Through Jesus. Yeah. Is. You know what else? First Timothy 2 and 5 said it like this. For there is one God, one God, one mediator. One mediator. Between God and man. So there's a mediator between God and man, between us and God. Yeah. And who is that man? Christ Jesus. He is the return source. <laughs> He's the return source. Yes, sir. I'm just painting a picture and I need you to just follow me. I like that. Tom. So first of all, you need the power source. Yes. To get the power to us, God. you need to transform, to transform your life. The word. Then you need that, that, that neutral, yeah. Yeah. that neutral, yeah. to get you back to God, to communicate. Mm -hmm. What else do you need? You got the house. Yeah. Now what is the house? Mm. You got some bright people somewhere that's the church. Yeah. Yeah. The house is the church. God is finding a way to get his power to us. Yes. Just like in the electrical circuit, he gets the power to the house. God is working magic sin. But he don't need no wires. No. He don't need no generator. No. He don't need no mechanical or no, no transformer. No. He builds his church. Now the big question is, what about this church? Okay. What about it? In Hebrews 12 and 22 says it like this. But ye are coming to Mount Sinai, and yes. the city of the living God, My God. the heavenly Jerusalem, yes. and to him a noble company of angels, to the general assembly and what church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just man made, made perfect. perfect. Hallelujah. So you got that. The church, the general assembly, the church of who's the firstborn? Christ. 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 That's right. He's the firstborn. And, and who those people written? It's in the church. In heaven. They're written in heaven. And to God be the judge of all, to the spirits of the just, man made perfect. That's me. So, we've got a church. How many churches should it be? Well, and who should it belong to? Oh, oh boy. The big question. Oh, boy. Matthew 16 and 18 says, And I... Say also unto thee, I, and that's Jesus speaking. Yeah. So Jesus says also unto thee that thou art Peter, Peter. and upon this rock, this Peter will build my church. And upon this rock, I, me and Jesus, my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Do you know there's something about all this? The words that's underlined? Singular. The singular. The all singular. So that tells me, first of all, first of all, let's go back, let's go back. And I, Jesus. Yes. That's the subject where I mean that the church is the subject. Jesus is proclaiming, says, I say unto thee, that thou art Peter upon this rock, I will build my church. Amen. So that's telling me that it's Jesus' church. Yeah. It looks right. like this nice straight pin It's a nice suit. It's, it's a nice suit. I think it's nice. 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 I learned it. Yeah. So here's this 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 thing is it's carbon suit. That's right. It's not CK suit. That's right. It's got it's got it's not yet. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> it's too tall for this suit. <laughs> it's too tall for this suit. But it's carbon suit. Yes, sir. And then how many of you see her? How many suits is ready? Just one. One. So it's my suit and it's one. Just like the church, it says, I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Prevail. Prevail against what? It. How many churches? It. Yeah, it. <laughs> Who should have been? 
Jesus Christ. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It says church. It says church. How many of them? One. 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 It. One. <laughs> it's one church. That's right. But Jesus said it. That's right. It belongs to him and it's his. Yeah. So. And Jesus is one. Jesus is not three. Yeah. It's one. Amen. So it's one church. Mm -hmm. One house. Mm -hmm. That we got to get here. Yeah. We got to get into that house Mercy. to get the lights. Mercy tough. To go from darkness to light. We got to get in the house to get out of darkness to light. Yes. And God's working that circuit so you get your lights. But you got to be connected. We're going to get to the connection. What else we got to part of? We got the customer. The customers in the house chilling. AC Lay it back. Yeah. But there's no TV, that's, that's a little TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's about this wide. <laughs> TV is like that. Anybody still got a TV boat? That I deep, I should say. They yeah, yeah. still got one, sis? Yes. Oh, I, I leave it for the children to play. They have, they have flash screens and stuff. You know. I have one. I have one. Remember those TVs? You used to turn the dog, click, 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 click. Yes. Click, 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 click. What about the area? Oh, yeah, I'm going to, I, have, I have to be a woman. I have to be one. I don't keep it around all day. But yeah, the area that was, was rabbit. What's rabbit? The area? What's the area on the TV? It's a hanger. Oh, a hanger? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have metal, foil. Still have metal hangers? <laughs> Put some foil on it? Yeah. Oh, Some say, Daddy, what are you talking about? <laughs> but you got the customer. This one is a nice little recliner, chilling, got his TV on, it's got his lights. <laughs> he is no longer in darkness. Uh, and I'm going to liken the customer to the Christian. Mercy, tell me. In the house of the Lord, in yes. the church. Yes. Amen. You own it, bro. When you're in the church, you should have lights if you are connected properly. <laughs> if you're connected properly, you own it, bro. You're going to have lights. You're not going to be no longer in darkness. Jeez. Acts 11 and 26. And when he found him, he brought him into Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with what? The church. And taught much people. And the disciples were what? Called Christians. First in Antioch. So the Christians is likened to the customer in the electrical circle. Because it's got to be in the house to get the lights. Yes, sir. Has to be. But. He has to be connected. It's got to be connected. First of all, as you said, you got the power source, God. the generator, God in the spiritual sense. And I was saying that God's a Everybody's with me, right? No, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to transform. And that's the word that transforms lives. <clears throat> then we've got the transmission lines that's running with the electricity that you don't see. Which can be likened to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Then you got that, that neutral wire that returns to us. Mm, my Lord. That's Jesus. Yeah. And then you got the house. That's the church. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then you got the customer, which is the Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Just painting a picture, a parallel, <laughs> parable. <laughs> so you can understand something to attach this to. Man. But the big question is how, what completes the circuit? You need it, it has, it has to be connected in order for it to work. Yes. You can have all the structure in place, but if it's not connected, the, the circuit is not completed, you will still be in darkness. Yes. Right. Follow me. Now we're talking about the connection. No. Okay. In the electrical supply, electricity circuit, you have four connectors. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a story about this guy, man. <laughs> tell you a story about this guy, really, man, real good. This man, <laughs> just keep in mind the four connectors. This man used to come in the barbershop. He used to wear a telephone company uniform. And this man has never worked telephone company before. <laughs> <laughs> He's never working. Look, come here. Hey, hey, come here, boy. Hey, look, tell me, look, look, look. I just started working at Telephone Company. Can you learn me? Let me both. I get paid Friday. I get paid Friday, right? Can you learn me a couple dollars? I just started my job, look. Check me Friday. I've got your money. That's what this man has to do. 
That's a false connector. Yeah. False connector. <laughs> the man that used to get the money. This, this was over 20 years ago. But hey, if you saw this man today, you wouldn't believe it's the same man. If you knew him then and knew him, I'm not going to say it is. Yeah, yeah, good. But hey, what are the looking around, thinking, don't try to who it is. This man is a changed man because of what? The word. Yes, sir. He started listening to the word and reading the word, and it started to transform his life. Look at that. So he don't try to get money, run a telephone company, you know, form and <laughs> false connector. <laughs> and then you've got in Colossians 2 and 8 says, Beware. Least any man spoil you through philosophy and fantasy after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Yes. I'm gonna give you another way to say Colossians 2 and 8. It says it like this. Mm. Watch out for people who yeah. try to dazzle you yes. with big words and intellectual double talk. Oh! 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 oh. They yes. want to drag you off into endless arguments yes. that never amount to anything. Nothing. They spread the ideas through the empty traditions of human beings and the empty superstitions of spirits, beings, superstitious, yeah, anxious. Empty superstitions. Empty superstitions of spirit beings, yes. but that's not the way of Christ. Amen. 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 Now you got people that, you know, yeah. they think they're scholars and they, they put their glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. And they talk about electricity, they use all the big, you see the big words and double, double talk, talk. intellectual. And they say electricity like this, a fundamental form of energy observable in the positive and negative form that occurs naturally as a light is produced as a jet. They use these big words to try to dazzle you. I'm like, hey. But they're false connectors. Sometimes they get on some job sites and the person swears that they know what they're talking about. I'm saying to myself, you really know what you're talking about. I'll let you finish that. Yeah, that's right. But you have false connectors. In the spiritual sense, you have false connectors. They're not studying the word that could transform them so that they know. They're not studying the word. And you have false connectors. That's right. <laughs> they're not really dividing the word. That's it. And they become a false connector. Yes, sir. And they use some Bible, some big words in the Bible, so you used to those words, and you're like, wow. <laughs> yeah. But if you don't really just study it for yourself, and when you even feel, or when someone's even studying, if even me, tell them to give you a book. Yep. The chapter and the verse. And the verse. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. That's it. It's the menu. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I've got to the connect. What was the part of it? Oh, the wrong circuit. <laughs> if you're on the wrong circuit, you're gonna still be in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That's an electrical sense. Yep. In the spiritual sense, the same thing. If you're not on the right circuit, you're gonna still be in darkness. Yeah. No light. That's it. <laughs> Acts 19 and 2. He uh -oh. said unto them, uh -oh. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Well. This Acts 19, 2 down to 19 and 5. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Well. Mm. Then Paul said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they shall believe on him, which shall come after him, that is on what? Christ, Christ Jesus. Yeah. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Got the right circuit. Yeah. Now they're on the right circuit. Yes. Right. Yes. And now they got lights. They're not in darkness anymore. Wow. Look at that. What else is part of the circuit? And when you are connected correctly, yeah. under the correct connector, <laughs> yes. you would have lights. Yes. Your lights will be on. The connection is completed. You know what else you have? 
Yeah, peace. Yeah. We got love. Love. Guidance. Yes, sir. Knowledge. Yes. Comfort. Yes. Power. Power. Life. Yes, sir. Blessings. Joy. And ultimately, yes. you make it to heaven. Amen. 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 But sometimes you get in the connection. I'm gonna, I have to speed on. You get involved in the connection, and then you could get what we call power current. But the lights are not fully on. <laughs> Maybe some of your lights are on. Because the connection is not completed. It was completed, but Maybe the wiring got faulty. Something happened. Or it blew a fuse. Mm -hmm. So it broke the circuit. And you get what we call part corn. They're calling the troubleshooters. You call them up. They come to you and say, no, there's nothing. Pop you in a fuse. You're back. Full current. Mm -hmm. In the spiritual sense, you can have the same issue. Mm -hmm. Part corn. Yes, it could be connected. Part corn. Part corn. Yeah, part corn. Part corn. <laughs> it says this love not the world in first John 2 and 15, yes, 16 sir. and 17. Yes. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. No. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. That's when you got to call in the troubleshoots. Right. Sometimes you could be disconnected from the surf. That's the worst part of my job. Yep. It's taking out somebody's needle. Yep. Sometimes yep. I have to do that. Wow. And they don't have no lights. Oh, man. That's bad. That's bad. No lights. They're in darkness. They had lights, but they're in darkness because they're not taking the responsibilities or they're not able to. In the spiritual sense, it's the same thing could happen. If you're not seeing the word, you could be disconnected, yes. neutralized. Yes. God put it like this in Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore God also gave them up. This is deep earth. Yes. Okay, this is deep. Mm -hmm. Accounted through the lust of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Look what they've done. Who changed the truth of God into what? A lie. Yeah. And worshiped and served the creature. More than the Creator, yeah. who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, yeah. what God done? Yeah. God gave them up unto violent passions, for even their women, well, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Yeah. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Very familiar. Yeah. God gave them up. And also, and likewise, also the man. Yes. Leaving the natural use of what? A woman. Yeah. Burning the hood of one toward another. Right. Man working with man. Yeah. Sounds familiar? Yeah. yeah. That which is unseen and receiving themselves the recompense of their error which was meek. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate one to do those things which are convenient. Not. But God has a remedy. But you're disconnected. Just like the electric company has a, a remedy. You go pay your bill, you get your lights, you get your meter back. God has a remedy, it's called repentance. Amen. There you go. You can repent and be back into the light. That's beautiful. Back into the light. So what I'm gonna say to you, once you're connected, you gotta stay connected. So I'm hoping someone here today can become connected Amen. to the right circuit Amen. and get the power and get your lights on and come out of darkness. Yeah. I'm hoping someone can do that today. And once you get connected, stay connected. Don't get neutralized. Don't get disconnected. Because Romans 8 and 38 says it like this, for I am persuaded that neither death no. nor life nor no angels, nor no principalities, nor no powers, nor no things present, nor even things to come, nor height, nor depth, depth. nor bills, yeah. oh. oh. nor lack of money, no job, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. My Lord. Amen. So what I'm saying today, you need to get connected to that circuit.
this virtual circuit. The question is, how do you get connected to this circuit and get your lights on? And get your lights turned on. Yes, sir. Oh, first of all, you got God and His Word that you heard. If you're hurt today, you've heard His Word. And hopefully, it's transforming your life or it has transformed your life. But it doesn't stop there. You got to believe it, it transforms your life. Then it should help you to repent, change your thought pattern. Change how you live. Just, just think about it. It's not going to happen right away. Just think about, okay, how can I change my life to get these lights and come out of darkness? How can I get connected to the circuit? It's the word, and then it's the repentance. And then you got to just, look, just confess it. You know what? I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that, you know what? It's, it's his church. It belongs to him. And, and, and I, need, I need to become a part of it. Yes, sir. Confess his name. Yes. Amen. First of all, is that hearing the word, believing it, that repentance, the change in your mind, confessing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and finally, to get those lights on. Get that Holy Spirit. Yes. And just be baptized Let's do to it. complete the circuit. To get you from darkness to light, you can do it today. Yes, sir. Yeah. You can do it right now. Get connected right to now. the right circuit. Yes. And get come out of darkness and come into light as we stand and sing the song of invitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 